than 4,200 acres. Mission Bay is the largest aquatic park of its kind in the country. And right now it's undergoing the most extensive dredging since it was created in the late 1940s. Our tender anchor Jim Patton met with the senior civil engineer on this project today to get the inside scoop on how it's going. Uh, this type of uh, dredging project is a combination of high tech, low tech. It sure looks low tech, lots of sand being dug from one part of Mission Bay and moved to another. The senior civil engineer George Freha will tell you it's being done with remarkable precision. They have very computerized high level uh, equipment, global uh, positioning, uh, real time uh, computer data and uh, very high resolution bathymetric surveys. The goal to level out the bottom of the bay to its original survey depth of at least 8 to 12 feet for the safety of recreational boats. We see a, a couple problems just in this area right here. Lifeguard Lieutenant John Sandmeyer says lifeguards were asked to give their input on areas considered most dangerous. You're seeing that sandbar creeping out at the, point, at the tip of uh, Crown Point and people are skirting that at high tide and not realizing that that sandbar goes out pretty far. And you can see the work they're doing here at Crown Point. They're digging out the shoals to make the waterway safer and then taking that sand and putting it back up on the beach. Whatever we're uh, removing it, we're using it. We're restoring a lot of beach, beach sites also. And ultimately restoring another vital element of the bay that goes largely unnoticed, the eelgrass, which grows on the bottom of the bay and supports marine life. It also helps clean the water and stabilize the bay floor. So an extensive project like this won't be necessary for decades to come. So you guys will be back out here in 50 years. I, uh, I'll be watching. <laughs> I'll be watching and waiting. We all will. That was our Jim Patton. The Mission Bay dredging project is on schedule to be complete by Memorial Day. If you are wondering what's been dug up so far, officials say nothing of note right now, but the sand is testing clean enough to reuse for shoreline restoration.